we did a live video well as I filmed this yesterday a few days ago whatever and of course welcome to the Philippines towards the end we were getting kind of ready to wrap up but hadn't finished all the questions and hadn't said goodbye and the internet crashed what are you gonna do as it locked up and you were spinning spinning people were still making comments I was responding typing with the comments and we could read the comments to each other but when the video stopped and was saved by YouTube it went back to as soon as it locked up and all those comments got erased so if you look at the video with all the comments once the little buffering started all the comments after that are gone so if there are some questions I missed I apologize right now I'm gonna look and see there's a couple that I did kind of get to and I was sort of answering them when it locked up I'm not exactly sure I thought I answered another question or two actually on video before because you look at the end it's just really abrupt it's I don't I don't know it was weird yes uh, we were talking about Chinatown so I'm saying that uh, Chinatown Manila has very good food and I was saying that we'd stayed in Ermita which is one jeepney ride away from Divisoria and I think that's where the Chinatown is there's a big Chinese mall there so I'm thinking that's where Chinatown is uh, the Ermita area is nice because you're also walking distance from the US Embassy Rizal Park and this really big aquarium so I like Ermita I could actually probably live there it's the only part of Manila I've seen that I liked but we didn't really do much exploring we went over there to Divisoria to shop and we ate at Chow King which is Chinese fast food but not really Chinese so if this lockdown ever clears up I would like to go back to Manila and hang out some more because I the first time I went I didn't like it but the next time I actually stayed in it is a different neighborhood and I enjoyed it where we stayed before was way up but Kizan City and everything we were doing was down by Ermita and we spent like the whole day on the train and jeepney and traffic was a mess so if you can pick the right neighborhood, Manila is pretty cool. Let's see, what else did we have? When I go back, I want to let my family know about your year's worth of greeting cards. Yes, my daughter came up with that. I have a whole stack. She sends like 20 greeting cards. Uh, my daughter and two granddaughters make them all. And they pull out a calendar and they do all the major. You know, you got your Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, birthdays. Then we get into like Groundhog's Day, Arbor Day. They're making cards just for everything. It's kind of funny uh, and it's really neat. So I have these, I have, every month I have at least one, quite often two. And it's, I think this is the second year they've done it. I've been here eight. So they just thought of it, you know, two years ago. And it's, it's really been great. I told her how much we like it. So hopefully they'll keep doing it and there was another one. Oh, see I didn't see this one name one simple thing you wish you would have brought with you when you first moved that one's hard because there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of stuff I brought that I didn't need so there's don't bring too much I brought most of my kitchen there's a few items there's a few things I just forgot a couple little um, my my little handheld you know creamer where you cream butter and sugar a little curved bladed thing I can buy it here I, but I've got one that I've had for 40 years and don't know why it didn't come but I'm trying to think is there anything more tools even if I don't use them, people here would. I was an air conditioning man. I had a garage full of stuff. And I could have done one ballot buy-in box, just tools. It would have weighed a ton, but there's no weight limit. 
and it, yeah the chainsaw you have to have a registration for a chainsaw but I could have given it to uncle or one of the cousins they would have made use of it it was a gas powered chainsaw I missed my battery operated drill and saw I had a real nice sawzall and drill batteries don't last here so everyone told me not to bother bringing it and I think that was probably good so I'm, I'm glad I didn't bring it but I miss it a couple of my cutting boards I should have brought I had some really beautiful cutting boards that I've had since the early 1980s I wasn't sure what you know with the heat and humidity what would happen to the wood but I left them at the house because no one in the family wanted them so I left them in the house for the new owner so I should have brought them you know can't think of a whole lot that I should have brought. If I think of anything, I'll get back to that one. And there was, I think, a couple other questions, but as I said, they got cut off when the video started buffering. So we're going to go with, um, well, that's not a tang time because it's Coke. Just Diet Coke. No rum. Huh. That's odd. Mistakes are made. So, welcome to Tang Time. Even though I don't have Tang. I was going through backing up a lot. Oh, checking for updates. Um, pardon me, I'm in the middle of updating my Windows 7 laptop to Windows 10. Because Windows quit supporting... Windows 7 like two years ago and it says it'll update uh, I just hope I don't turn it into a brick oh, it's 25 percent it's going the right way we'll find out scare me but speaking of the laptop and I was going through all my backups and stuff I was going through some old pictures and it amused me I found this picture of me and my brothers and sister yeah, I'm the little one, and the same tooth is missing. I'm hiding it with a plastic tooth, but I could take this out. I won't, but that smile is just as fucked up. Life's tough. But we do spend much of our childhood worrying that we're going to become our parents. And I found this picture of my mom and two of her friends from 1955 at the State Fair of Texas in Dallas. Then I found this picture of me, my dad, and one of my brothers in 1975 at the State Fair of Texas in Dallas. What this shows is, well, first, that's 20 years and they're still using that same cutout. The State Fair should upgrade their stuff more often. But regardless of that, you can see in the picture, I am on the right, my mom is on the right. We look exactly the same. Look, our little arms and fat legs and butt sticking out. We look exactly the same. I guess it's not so bad. I'm running out of videos, man. Uh, we don't get out much. I'm afraid the whole world is going to just be agoraphobic when this is done. We, we can get out most things are open the restaurants are real limited they're like one person tables so it's like test day at school that kind of sucks but it's not that bad you know uh, most of the stores are open we just don't we don't get out much we went to Molo today just right down walked over there did a little bit of shopping stopped at lunch and we were gone for like three hours and that was a long time for us we don't we're not going out we've got to get out more I got to go out and start doing videos again I'm pretty much out of footage I don't have any old stuff to use anymore uh, haven't been anywhere haven't done anything we have three ballot buy -in boxes full of school supplies we are trying to get out to the province Every time we make plans, they change the rules. So, right now, we are making plans to go soon. Very soon. 
so soon that I'm expecting a rule change to come out like today or tomorrow and kill it. Because every time we plan it, they change the rules and lock the borders again. So the borders just reopened like a week or so ago. So they're staying open. The rules are made for the next three weeks. So I think as long as we leave soon and get back before the end of the month, we should be okay. They shouldn't change the rules in because once they post it and they have their executive order to this date, to that date, well, we're the executive orders are made to the end of September. They've written it out. They said, this is the rule for the next three weeks. So we're hoping to get out of here. We just got our travel permits. We got our health certificates. We're working on lining up a van. Hoping they don't change the rules on us again. Because it's time to go deliver this stuff. We've had parts of it since February. Then we got some more in in like June. We went and added a whole bunch more of our own. We've spent a couple hundred dollars to add in. Because we got quite a bit. Um, one of our one of our dear subscribers sent a box full of school supplies and then later sent a box almost full of uh, books and sporting goods for the school. So there's lots of stuff. And so we went through, oh, and then my sister sent a box and put in some school supplies as well, mostly books. So we've got a whole lot of books to take. It's heavy. And we went through and we counted. We had, so you know, 20 something I forget how many backpacks and equal numbers of crayons glue pencils all you know just all the stuff and we went ahead and talked to the teacher found out how many kids there were we went and bought some more and they came it said backpacks and everything so we went and bought like a dozen backpacks and then we had a number of each crayons scissors all this you know all the stuff and we have a nice, I think we're at like 27 or 30 packs to give out. It's got hygiene kits, school supplies, everything. Should be really cool. And as soon as we get in touch with the van driver and get everything ironed out, they should close the border again and stop us. Because uh, I'm so tired of this. <laughs> I think everyone is tired of this. I understand it. I'm glad I don't have to make the rules, but God, I'm tired of this, man. It's been 18 months. Uh, everyone is sick of it. Oh, God. Anyway, so we're, we're ready to go anywhere. I, yeah, I've said this enough. I'm not a big fan of the province. I get very bored out there. There's not much to do. I am excited. I am looking forward to a trip to the province just to go somewhere. That's pretty bad. Um, and Melanie loves it out there and her family. So she's just bouncing off the walls, excited, really looking forward to it. So I hope they don't change the rules on us because we're, we're, we're just this, this, this close to going. And every time I, we do that, they, they lock it down again. We'll find out here. We'll put on my mask and then, no, uh, yeah, no, we're, oh God, I hope we can go. <laughs> Enough of that. I've been here at the house just kind of hanging out and I decided one day, not sure why, I haven't picked up a sketchbook in 30 years, maybe more than 30. It's been a long time. I used to do uh, I used to draw a lot in school, especially high school and college. I did a lot of art in high school and college. And then, you know, things like jobs and marriage and kids and life just got in the way. And I hadn't picked up a sketchbook in probably 30 years. So last week, I picked up a sketchbook just to see if I still knew how to draw. Because I've been locked down for a year and a half, i got to do something, right? Um, the daisies are a little lopsided. Not real thrilled with the shading on the olives, but the olive branch and stuff, I think, came out okay. 
Um, yeah, the lizard's kind of stiff, but legs are, are not, like I said, I haven't drawn in 30 years. But the spider was fun. I think the spider came out okay. He needs more fuzzy creepiness, but you know. Um, yeah, just playing around, having some fun. It's nice here, right by the condo. We've got a nice big hospital. And the river, as you can see the river. But uh, I think we're all going stir crazy. But in everyone. Along the river, they have paddle boats and canoes. They're clear canoes. You can see the water underneath you. Not sure if there's anything particular to see in the river. But the canoes look like fun. They are 80 pesos for, I think he said, it's like 88 pesos for 35 minutes. Those are both bizarre numbers. <clears throat> but it's about a buck sixty for half an hour uh, sounds pretty cool to me so I need to go out there and do some canoeing on the river I just have to make sure and plan in advance to have like a waterproof bag with me and my water underwater camera because I don't want to take the phone out there but I want to take some pictures not sure when I'll ever get out there and do that probably never it's very close and it's cheap and it's good exercise and I like canoeing kayaking would be better but the canoe works not sure when it's ever going to happen. Probably never. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully soon. Uh, Melanie's got some interest in it, but I don't know if she's really digging it either because it's a lot of work. And I think she knows that. Maybe we could share a canoe. Then I would do all the work. I'd rather have a canoe each. We'll find out if we ever go. But it's right here near the house. The paddle boats are giant. They're Big enough they have like two sets of paddles and there's a table and a canopy so it's like you can go out there and eat lunch or something it's huge I didn't realize they were that large generally I don't see people using them the canoes seem to be more popular I didn't ask how much the paddle boats were does look like fun and maybe one day we'll do it but wish us luck on getting to the province we would like to get rid of all this stuff. I have this giant box in my room I'd like to get rid of. And we have two of them at the house. We'd like to get all this stuff delivered. We'll find out. Good night and good luck. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs>